we must be crystal clear. We stand with Israel. We stand with Israel. And we will make sure Israel has what it needs to take care of its citizens, defend itself. Late October, you had referred to the fact that the administration is not drawing any red lines for Israel. As the death toll for civilians in the Gaza Strip has gone up, I wanted to ensure, is that still the case, that the administration has no red lines? <laughs> have been very clear about where we stand on this, which is innocent civilian lives should not be intentionally targeted and that Israel must do more to protect innocent life in Gaza. Are the airstrikes in Yemen working? Well, when you say working, are they stopping the Houthis? No. Are they going to continue? Yes. We have not seen anything that would uh, that would uh, convince us uh, that we need to take a, a, a different approach in terms of trying to help Israel defend itself. There is some movement and I don't want to I don't want to well, maybe choose my words. There's some movement there's been a response from the uh, the, the, there's been a response from the opposition, but... Um, is it still the U.S. assessment that uh, Israel is not using food or assistance as a tool of war? So we have not made an assessment or drawn the conclusion that they are in violation of international humanitarian law when it comes to the provision of humanitarian assistance into Gaza. We are committed to Israel's right to self-defense, and this is a long-term commitment the United States has made, that it made before October 7th, and that continues, uh, uh, in, <coughs> it continues since October 7th. So. Dissent is essential to democracy, but dissent must never lead to disorder. We don't think the, we don't recognize the jurisdiction, the high ICC, the way it's being exercised, and, uh, and it's that simple. We don't think there's an equivalence between what Israel did with Hamas did. They're embedded near civilians. Israel has a right to try and target those civilians, but they also have the obligation to minimize civilian harm. For the forces of civilization to triumph, America and Israel must stand together. be clear, I will always stand up for Israel's right to defend itself, and I will always ensure Israel has the ability to defend itself. Hold on, we've never wanted to see a diplomatic resolution with Hamas. Okay, well, well what about the ceasefire? We wanted to see a ceasefire, but we have always, been, commi we have, we have always been committed to um, the destruction of Hamas. We did as I have said, I will always ensure Israel has the ability to defend itself against Iran and Iran-backed terrorist militias. My commitment to the security of Israel is unwavering.